Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and Mathematics Teacher in Training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a KIP Integrated Mathematics question. All right, in Module 3, Calculus, and the topic is the power rule for integration. All right, so here we have a question which says find the integral of x to the power of 11 minus 4x to the power of 6 plus 3 with respect to x. All right, now this type of integral is what we call the indefinite integral, and this is because it doesn't have any limits in the integral. All right, so just to remind you what the power rule says, I have it here to my right. All right, now if I am integrating x to the power of n with respect to x, then that is going to be equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by the same power n plus 1 plus an arbitrary constant of integration c. And n is a real number, but you cannot plug in negative 1 for n. All right, so when n is equal to negative one, this formula will not work. All right, so let us apply this formula now. So let me write solution here. So what we have is the integral of x to the power of 11 minus 4x to the power of 6 plus 3 with respect to x. All right. So let me just scroll on a bit. All right. So this is equal to, you're going to integrate each term separately. All right. So the integral of x to the power of 11, you add one to the power, right? So that's x to the power of 11 plus one. And you divide by that same power, which is 11 plus one. All right, so we have integrated x to the power of 11. Now we have negative 4x to the power of 6. Now negative 4 is a constant, so we can keep that on the outside. Now the integral of x to the power of 6, you add 1 to the power, so that's x to the power of 6 plus 1. And you're going to divide that now by the same power, which is 6 plus 1. All right. And then we integrate three, all right? You can imagine, let me write it here in blue for you. You can imagine that three is the same as three X to the power of zero, all right? So if you should add one to the power and divide by that new power, what you will get is plus three X, all right? Plus three X. Now we have finished integrating the terms, but remember we have to add our arbitrary constant of integration. I am using C, right? You can use K or any other letter that you wish. So this is now equal to, let us simplify. So we have X to the power of 11 plus one. We know that 11 plus one is 12 divided by 11 plus one, all right, which is 12 minus four times x to the power of six plus one we know is seven and we are also dividing by seven all right so we are dividing by seven plus three x plus c which is my arbitrary constant of integration all right so this is my answer. I cannot simplify any further. So that is the integral of x to the power of 11 minus 4x to the power of 6 plus 3 with respect to x using the power rule for integration. All right. If this video has helped you in any way, please like the video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. All right. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, 
and a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.